If you sense that the United States Constitution is a footnote in history, your intuition is correct. The Constitution of the United States has been superseded by the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It is an artifact from the United States giving up its status as a government and country to the United Nations in October of 1945. The United States is a United Nations member nation franchise de facto corporation. Well, you're absolutely right, Judge. You know, what we have to look at is the president is the chief executive officer of this corporation called the United States of America, of this corporation called the United States of America, of this corporation called the United States of America. The United Nations doing business as the United States is a byproduct of the end of World War II and global domination by the Allies. Since 1948, the U.S. Constitution has been prioritized as second to the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. UN dictates are passed through the member nations, which operates on legal presences as separate artificial corporate persons distinct from you as a non-legal, natural person. The legal presence is otherwise known as the straw man. As such, the highest law that applies to legal presences is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The United Nations is the single global issuer of legal presences to UN member nations. It is a system where the original issued birth certificates are exchanged for member nation immunity in operating the UN legal presence against us. All police and sheriffs globally are United Nations armed forces and operate on UN legal presences. As proof that the United Nations has taken over all courtrooms across the United States and the globe, here is the prosecutor for Washtenaw County, Brian Mackey, claiming that his masters are the United Nations. Just like Michigan is simply a corporate, you know what the difference between the state of Michigan and the territory of Michigan. Is this correct? Do you know the difference? Uh, probably not the way that you do, because you seem to have studied this in some detail, which is great. Okay, so you're saying that ignorance of the law is an excuse, is that correct? Uh, I believe that that is not an excuse, no. Okay, so then you need to know these things. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. If you are not familiar with the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, here are a few important articles as seen through the legal lens. It is the definitive document of human slavery. Everywhere we read the words human or person, we should be interpreting it as chattel. Article 3. Everyone has a right to life, liberty, and security of person. First, a person here is defined as a financial security and that it's a right to be treated as a financial security, or chattel. Then it says that the UN has the right to treat financial securities as if it were living, and then they grant themselves the right to define the meaning of liberty of chattel. Article 6. Everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. Meaning, everyone has the right to be converted into and treated as chattel, and particularly under UN laws and not the UN member nations' constitutions, as the constitution is left out here. Article 8. Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by the competent national tribunals for acts violating the fundamental rights granted him by the constitution or by law. Justice has been outlawed across the globe and all courtrooms have been replaced by United Nations competent national tribunals, which are not courts. Every judge is merely a United Nations administrator of legal presences. The Constitution is made subservient to the United Nations international law as the Constitution does not grant rights. It only protects them from government interference. Rights are inherent and not granted. This article makes the U.S. Constitution a footnote in history since the implementation of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. Article 15. Everyone has the right to a nationality. Meaning, the United Nations grants itself the right to impose its member nation legal presence franchise scam on nations and humanity. All positive rights are merely benefits that can be taken away and which then must be argued in their fictitious and dubious UN competent national tribunals to regain. These articles are not rights that the United Nations defends. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights truly is a list of benefits that the United Nations has taken away from humanity. Did you know that the United Nations has taken over all of New York City and is the fourth sovereign city-state next to the Vatican City, the City of London, and the City of Washington, D.C., District of Columbia? For more information, see the United Nations, the fourth sovereign city-state of New York City, and New York City banks are UN-based, not US-based. Like, subscribe, and notify.